So in the next position, we're gonna talk about what to do against a standing opponent now. So we just did what to do against uh, a laying down opponent. When we're standing now, when we're doing nogi and you're playing against a standing opponent, it can be really difficult to set up grips because we're kind of forced to lay on our back and if we sit up like this, there's a lot of attacks in here, but we're threatened with chokes. So like if you're gonna play seated guard, you have to be really aware of the chokes. And it can be a pain to have to fight out of those positions. So if you like to play reverse delahiva or delahiva guard, there are some options you can do in nogi that are still effective. Turn this way. But you kind of have to change up the way you attack them, okay? So the position I like to play is I really put emphasis on controlling the ankle. You really need to control the ankle and behind the knee. Because if you just start chilling here, he's gonna start moving and jumping around. He can force your legs down and start to smash you. So if we control an ankle and a knee, it kind of stops him from being able to put pressure, okay? So immediately when we have the open guard, we go to the ankle and we go behind the knee. From here, I'm gonna keep the grip behind the knee and I'm gonna reach underneath and grab my shin here, okay? And then this hand is gonna also grab my shin, controlling like this. So what this does is even if he tries to put pressure on me, trying to like start to pass, like here, it really keeps his weight off of me. The more he drives in, the more it rotates me underneath, like a reverse to the position. Now I don't have to worry too much about my top hand, but if he does start to get a hold of my head here, I need to make sure that I have this hand to push on the neck to get out of this position. So we're just gonna be attacking this uh, reverse to the like kiss of the dragon sweep, but we're doing it with this grip. It's called a mantis guard. Okay, right here. And our hands like praying mantis over the top of our shin. Okay, now if he stays standing, this foot goes on the hip and really takes him off balance here. Now, if I want to initiate the motion the, for the kiss of the dragon to stay standing, I push on the hip and I go behind the knee. That's here. Once we're in this position, keep your grip on the shin, and then this hand goes to the, the other shin until we bring our foot inside. Then we go to both hips. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So the control position is just here. But to set it up, you grab the ankle, grab behind the knee, and then reach underneath. Connect both hands over the shin, put your foot on the hip to keep his pressure away. If he starts to drive into you, we just immediately spin underneath to the leg. Keep both grips until we have both feet on the inside, and then go one by one to the hips. Next step. Any questions? It's not absolutely necessary to put your foot on the hip because most of the time the guy's gonna be driving in with a knee cut. So as he drives in with a knee cut here, and like this, the more pressure he puts, the more I can spin underneath. My left hand goes to the armpit and then behind the knee. And then we get to the, this is the driving position. Right here. All right, guys. One more time? Yeah. I have a question too. Yeah. Well, okay. He's being real elusive and just staying away because he's scared. He doesn't want to pressure him. Yeah, that's why we need to make sure we're keeping him off balance with our left foot on the hip here. Like this. If he just stays away, he's just elevating his foot off the ground. Oh, taking his balance out. Like, it's like the same thing. It's like if you go here, this sweep, you're looking for the same thing. So if the guy really doesn't come in, we kind of have to change our tactic. But most of the time, the guy's not just going to stand there. And if he stays standing, like it's going to be hard to reach this leg. So you may have to plant your foot and like really dive through to the reverse belly heap of the kiss of the dragon position. But most of the time this is set up as the guy's already trying to cut. Like as he tries to come in, we get to our position here. And then the more he pressures in, the more it's easier to spin. Do you have a question? No, I should see it again. Okay, so here, set up from the ankle, behind the knee, I underhook, grab my shin. He tries to start to pass or do anything, and I immediately just roll over my shoulders. Bring this hand through, and the knee follows through. And I'm holding both shins. This foot comes inside. I keep control of this leg, go to the hip, and go. Any other questions? Okay, so just play around with that position, holding the leg. Guy on top, like try and work some passes and give the guy a realistic feel of what it's going to be like to control with that shin grip. It's like reverse delahiva, but you have like more solid control over the leg, which I like. Okay. Okay, each guy gets three minutes. Okay, ready? Pray, man, just go